Hello everyone, this is Joseph Notch here and today I am bringing you a short video on the possibility on how to check the quality of your mesh. You might know the command check mesh but I want to show you new features which they added in the last couple of releases of OpenFoam and how you can utilize them. Okay, so for this tutorial I will choose this geometry which you see here, but you can choose your own geometry, whichever you want. I created this uh, mesh out of the geometry which I am preparing for my Patreons on Patreon because we reached the uh, our first goal there and I started a simulation project where we will step by step create a geometry which you, uh, which you see here and then the mesh uh, as I will show you with my patrons how to create a good quality mesh with snappy hex mesh Cartesian mesh and then have some fun with steady state simulation transient simulation turbulent simulations uh, heat transfer multi-phase flows and so on but I thought to myself that for the functionalities of um, check mesh, this mesh that I set up here is very good because it's a decent mesh. The geometry is not too complicated, but also not too simple. As you see here, for example, these edges are captured nicely, but there are still things which can be improved in this mesh. I spent approximately 10 minutes on this mesh, so there is room for improvement. Okay, so for so this mesh is located in my documents in check mesh, so I will just go there. So if you are following along in Linux, then go to your, your own mesh, which you want to check. Mine is in my documents under Windows, and uh, if you don't know how I created this symbolic link to my Windows file systems, then ch check out my video on tips for Windows 10 and now I am in my folder check mesh where I have created my mesh with snappy hex mesh and in zero you have your typical output on cell levels which I visualized here. So red is are my finest cells of level 3 here and I have level 2 cells and somewhere most probably inside this, this part and this part I also have level 1 cells. Okay, but now for checking the mesh. Let me just come back. So you might know this command or you maybe might not know this command. Then you, if you didn't know check mesh, then you already learned something. But I want to show you what you can do additionally. So by typing in dash help, you get some helps here. And what I really like here uh, to include after check mesh is all geometry to include the bounding box. A nice to have is an extra topology check, but this is just an optional thing. And then what do I like? I like write all fields and this is something I really would like to show you. And then write sets. If we have some pro uh, possibly wrong faces or cells, then we can write... Oh no, that's not what I wanted. We can write out those. So check mesh will write them automatically into sets, but with this flag we can then write them out in a certain format and I really like to use the VTK format because you can open it up in Paraview. You can also export it as an STL file. Okay, so all geometry, all topology, write all fields and write sets is VTK format. And if I now press enter, then the mesh, then it is check mesh is being run. And you might recognize some of the output if you know check mesh. And you see failed one mesh checks. This is good, but this is what I wanted to show you. I didn't want to present you a perfect mesh. Okay, so what do we see here? So yeah, there is some warning about old type of uh, old syntax, but I ignore this. Uh, important is maybe here, mesh stats. Here I really uh, like to check the number of cells that I ended up with. It's a little bit less than 500,000 cells. And then the cell, the type of each cell. So for example, 
we have 381,000 hexahedra and quite some number of polyhedra, but in this mesh my problem is with the tat wedges and the tetrahedra, which is not the best, especially for volume of fluid simulations. For steady state si single phase simulations this, this mesh might work, but for a volume of fluid simulation I would further improve the mesh. Okay, then let's go further. Here we see the we have the topology check it everything is okay we have our patches and they are all uh, okay and then we have uh, most of the checks are okay important is the min volume this, if this is negative then you really have to do something about the mesh then you uh, used a uh, wrong setting or your stl file might not be the best um, because if you have here a negative cell then your simulation or negative volume your simulation will most probably crash skewness is also okay and it complains about concave angles and warped faces and again concave cells okay so and then here we wrote out the non-orthogonality um, face weight skewness uh, shape cell volume and so on and now we can visualize this in paraview i click refresh and now you see we have more cell arrays to choose from not just not just the cell level and now I can for example visualize the cell volume now we have a we have also big cells so I can maybe reduce this down to 0.001 and now you see you can visualize the cell volume more interesting thing is maybe the skewness which is in this case okay and it complained about concave cells so non-orthogonality uh, so we have 48 uh, it's not the best but as i mentioned we also wrote out something in a vtk format and namely here in post-processing and if i go into post-processing then and in constants then you see we have concave cells concave faces and so on and maybe let's just open up the concave faces and maybe the cells and if i go so post-processing concave faces here and here we have now a vtk file which okay we don't see but now as you see here we have faces which have which are marked as concave and if I now just check this with surface with edges, I think the problem here is, the real problem is that we have these edges into the volume and this is not the best. I don't know what happened here with Snappy Hex Mesh, but these edges are not the best. As I mentioned, maybe for uh, single phase simulations that's okay, but not for... Uh, volume of fluid simulation cells do we see something additional here um, i'm not sure but uh, yeah so the the yeah the, 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 these parts of the cells are not very nice so there's something happened with uh, during snapping as you see this is the original mesh so, so all the mesh and then if I blend it out you see here in this region something happened during snapping so I really should take care of those regions if I'm really interested in them but uh, yeah and additionally there are, there are also the cell shapes um, which correspond to this output here so which are hexahedra, polyhedra, prisms. And I couldn't find a decent description of these numbers here, but you can uh, narrow them down by clicking here clip and then clip to the scalar and cell shapes. And then for example, show everything below 0 0.5 and then you have only the 0, 0 values here or 
everything above 0 0.5 so you can narrow down the cell shape maybe yourself by hand but I googled it and I couldn't find a decent description of the cell shapes but th this is how you can visualize them now and, and I'm sure that 9 will be the will be the polyhedra but if you know if you have a description of these cell shapes then please let me know and then maybe I will put it into the description below. Okay, so this is what I wanted to show you, how you can check your mesh. This is with the, with the command check mesh with a couple of additional flags, all geometry, all topology and this write all fields and this write sets is something that I really like because I can visualize additional um, meshing uh, quantities plus I can isolate the problematic cells and then really have an idea about what happened during the refinement and especially during snapping. And with this geometry, I'm really surprised that the pro problematic cells are here in this blocky shape and not inside the coils. But that's something I'll take a look at and then on Patreon I will utilize this information during my meshing videos. So th this is what I wanted to sh uh, talk about here, checking the mesh. I hope that you enjoyed this video and that you learned something. I would like to thank you for watching and listening and I hope to see you next time.